Hello and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are here. I didn't realize something new I was around, but something back that way and it was around me. But anyway, we have three foes up this way. Chargers. I thought those were scrappers, but they are chargers. That I did not even... I don't think I've encountered before. And we keep losing our tags here. This is gonna make this a little bit dangerous. It's a little bit more dangerous than it is. We have to advance. Yeah, this is so, so those are corrupted zones. Okay, so that's what those mean. Okay, okay. I, I had simply forgotten that. Hopefully I won't forget anymore. There we go. Corrupted zone. Shit, it's charger. Oh shit! That was not a one shot! <laughs> I was like, I thought it was dead, and so I was, you know, looking ahead to the next, the next enemy. That's not what I should have been doing. Um, okay. Gonna place this right there. Here we go again. Since these are chargers, my idea will of course be to lead them in a specific direction. It didn't seem like it knew where I was. <clears throat> Goodness. Hmm. <clears throat> so I didn't think its aim would be true. Where is this going to set me? <clears throat> man. Before the freaking... Oh, man, that's... That's criminal. This is before the thugs, before the bandits and all that stuff. Oh, that, yeah, that hurts.
That one hurts. They still got a shell walker there. Let's try to go way around the outside. See if we can start taking some of these out. Yeah, I, I'm very disappointed. Shellwalker out there. Shellwalker's getting closer. Got him. Good job, Shellwalker. Oh, I didn't get him completely. Now we got him completely. Good shit. No, no, no. Don't go after me. You still got two minutes to deal with. There you go. Off, guy, mm, show off your fucking face in. Woo! Oh shit, there's a bandit. <laughs> now it's a scrapper, and there's another scrapper. Oh, <laughs> woo! Fuck. I knew the other guy was seeing me, but I, I was okay with it. I think I can take a scrapper one-on-one -on -one in an open field. I very rarely use the quick strike. I probably should use them more often. Alright. Oh, a shock trap, cool. I just realized that I have never even considered nutritious. Buying resources from a merchant. It's, it's very easy for a merchant to be selling me fish bones or boar skin. I don't know why I never thought about that until this moment. But had not occurred to me. Alright, so we are coming back up on this corrupt site. Ooh, look at the skyscrapers. That's pretty. Coming back up on this corrupt site. Uh, I don't know if we'll sort of go at it the same way or not. I mean, if, if I'm looking at this topography right, like, there's not really a good way to be like up on this high ground the only real other choice I would have would be to go around and come in this way but I don't know that that would be better gotta get up in here took these two out pretty easily last time around
Hopefully they stay pretty easy. Like they have blaze canisters on the back. With the fire. for now. <laughs> and of course, the rain sets in. <clears throat> I would have liked to have killed you. Oh, but I was just a kid. Okay, come on. So separated him from the herd pretty well. Happy with that. Back to your business. It is intense that it's not a one-shot on them. Uh, I do wonder now, could I get away with silent strike and then go back to my business? When I say go back to my business, let me go back to hiding. Like silent strike and then hide. Because he, he was disabled. Like they, that Keep quiet now. Silent strike knocks these guys down. Should not win. Romantic fortunes.
safe. In a few minutes, anyway. I want to say that's the one I had previously injured. Hope I'm not mistaken about that. Yeah, fuck you. That was pretty cool. I'm happy that this guy knows where I am. I am happy with that clear weather, though. Drop that. <laughs> Jesus, and dead. And I didn't save after the fuck. I didn't save after the bandits again. Oh, why am I so. Why am I this way? Why am I this way? I think it was telling me I couldn't have the traps. Turkey skin! That should give me something. <sighs> I'm just super frustrated right now because I've done this three times? Four times? I don't know. Too many times. And I should have known better after the last time. Like, the, the, the first one, that's a mistake. You know, there seems to be a decent amount of auto-saving here, so... To, to assume that after a big fight like that, you won't have to do that fight again. That's reasonable to me. Like, to me, I'm like, okay. I forgive you. I can see why you would have thought. Just keep playing, because eventually the game will save and you won't have to worry about it. I'm getting a little complacent, you know because of auto safety. And that's all right, it happens. However, letting it happen a second time, I don't think I can forgive it for that one. Uh, let's let this battle play out a little bit more this time. Seeing three bandits right now. We've 
Oh wow, he got me. I thought running laterally like that he wouldn't have a shot, but man, he just took me out. Doesn't matter, nothing matters anymore. The problem, the, the big problem here <laughs> is that this is just going to be an episode of death. I die, do a thing, and then die, and the thing never happened. And yeah, now, now I've gotten impatient. And this is a thing that I experienced with Dark Souls. You know, I, I understand how it works. You get a little bit frustrated, and all you want to do is just get back to the point you're at. And then, okay, everything's great. But you're just a little bit frustrated, and so you play just a little bit more haphazardly. And now you're dying much more frequently. So the best thing to do is recognize when this is happening and just stop play. Because continuing to try and just brute force your way through it is just going to make it worse. This is going to exacerbate the problem. Fuck off, guy. You see what I mean? It's just going to exacerbate the problem. I'm just out in the middle of a field, just collecting items. when I got a giant, giant machine hanging around. Like, why am I not being patient and taking him out the way that I did the first three times? Well, the first time the bandits took him out. The, the other two times, I was patient, I found a spot, and I took him down, and it was pretty easy. But now, I have no more patience. Now I am just doing, and it does not work. You can't play this way. Down he goes. Move out this way. Watch this fight. You got the shell shocker, and you got. Shellwalker about to walk over here. You got the man. One of those two is gonna lose. Shellwalker getting closer. It was supposed to be a silent strike, it was not. Hey, that shell walker might hit you even if you're even if it doesn't know you're here, it can still hit you. Try to be Try to be aware of that. Alright, one of them's down. Shell walker's still fucking around. You keep, you keep becoming visible with this. That still walker still up. He is still up. He lost his shell, but he's still good. And he's just blasting the ground, shocking this guy. 
Not doing a ton of damage to this. Walker is really, really badly hurt. So silent strike, and it's done. Now there's a scrapper. There's two. There's the other one. So that one's going. No, they're both just looking around. They're just doing their thing. Their attention because they're facing each other so if I snuck up on one the other one would obviously see me I didn't want that to happen so I decided to take a shot but then I stayed cool I kept my head whoo and we're just hanging out now so that guy's going back to it happened this one's still kind of wondering what happened to him now we've removed his component, but it seems like he might see me. Which I'm not enthusiastic about. Watchers out of nowhere. Here, here, here. Slide down. Look at this poor guy, he's just limping. Now, a lot of resource supply boxes. Can't carry that potion because I don't have a fish bone. That's purple. Oh dear. Plus 36% damage foil. I think I already have a plus 43, so that's not as hugely awesome as I'd hoped it would be. But get it while I can. We've learned a bit of a lesson. Quick save. Thank you. Holy goodness. Alright. So now the bandits are done. The shell walker's done. The bellow thing is done. And that's that's what we were thinking about. Turn turn towards me. Come on. That is one thing that makes this bow fantastic. We can 
one shot a walker if our aim is true. Yes, I know they're not called walkers. I don't know why I keep calling them walkers. I, I don't have a reason for that. It's just me being inadequate. Ooh, plus 22 handling coil. That could make this bow incredible. If we ever unlock a way to add additional mods to something. Alright, I'm going to move back towards that corrupted zone. I don't think it's the best idea I've had in my entire life, but... I don't want to leave something undone. Just carry my child away. So carry my child away. Ah, get him back. I'm patting me. Dang it. Another campfire. Don't think I won't. Damn. That's a full of water. Broadhead sight. I don't think I've faced any broadheads yet. But yeah, we'll grab that. Oh god, son, please. Jesus. Man. That hurts. That hurts the eyes. So we got full health. Heading towards this corrupted zone. Wait, where am I exactly? Ah, I, I was hoping maybe we had a different entrance this time, but no, not quite. I mean, it's going to be a little bit different, but not enough to... Really? Just barely escaped to death. Cause that's to assault you seeing you before you get a strike on it, that is uh that's death. What is Oh, is that like it's still my active No, it can't be. So that's a little weird. There's the two. Can I get a death from above from up here? I don't think I've actually hit a death from above yet. Oh shit, he's looking at me. He's looking. Like I was trying to say, I don't think I've actually hit a death from above yet. We need to do so, but. Doesn't look like they want it to happen. On that guy, so. We just gained a skill point. So let's look at everything that's available to us and let's really make a, a, a better informed decision. At times, those who are aiming during a jump or slide. No, no I don't really need that. Use range weapon while battling on a rope. Don't really need that. Landing for a forward jump is completely silent and will not alert enemies otherwise unaware. That's cool. Further reduced visibility, that's cool too. Different types of dodges, also cool. Splitting is quiet, also cool. So this whole line is, is cooler. There's the critical hit on downed enemies. That's something I've been thinking about getting, so...
All this brave stuff is awesome. That was the capacity of the medicine valve, that's cool. Weapon coils can now be reused, that's cool too. Additional ammo for the same amount of resources, that's cool. So a lot of cool things. I, I think this lore call could be useful immediately. So that's what we're gonna go with for now. And then we'll probably go for the critical hit and then these precisions. That's what I'm thinking now. There's a lot of this forager stuff that could be useful. I'm not ruling any of that stuff out. It's just, it's not number one priority, I don't think. So, my question here. There we go. How close... We got that thing? Is that what ended up Lord? It's not even near us, whatever it is. I hope that's not what got Lord, because that's a little bit silly. But, it's alright. So, we're going to craft some arrows. Create some fire here. Deal with them quickly. Okay, he is coming this way, which is what we wanted. You want to be down here? Just come on down. That seems to have made it aware of me, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, I guess. It was already sort of aware of me, and then I made a noise, obviously it would find me, I guess. That's not really the way you should be using that. But I feel a little... and a little silly. But it's alright. Handling though. One, two, one. Ramble. 
Alright, sorry about that. Embarrassed. How many shots in a row was that? with those. Maybe I'll use some precision, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep throwing fire at them like that. It's not doing very, very much for me. Mm, see some sparks. I like that. That was bad. Bad job. Got those up. Sweet damage. Crazy. It's absolutely crazy right now.
I do love the way that they limp and they seem to be so close to dead. I, I absolutely adore that. Uh, It's gonna be maybe a weird thing to say, but it kind of reminds me of Dungeons and Dragons, where you say, "Oh, you know," the dungeon master will say, "Oh, it's uh, it's bloodied," or you can tell that it's the worst for wear. You know, they say oh, something quiet, to let you know, like you're getting there, but it's not quite, not quite done yet. All right, so give me this. Give me this. I think I have to take all of them out to have this place called clear. There's like another data point right here. What? Oh, well, I want to read this one. Your last meaningful conversation on chocolate box. Oh, I thought it was actually going to be a list of chocolates. Hey, hey, how's it going? Fine, bored though. Yeah, Wednesday night. You're really cute, Lars. Thanks, you too. Hey, do you want to chat with me in my private saloon? Oh, you're a honeybot. Haha, <laughs> what? No, silly. Okay, if you're not a honeybot, tell me about the most earth shattering work of art you've seen. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about the last time you experienced a heartache. You're funny, Lars. Tell me about an experience which your friends enjoyed, but about which you were ambivalent. Hey, do you want to chat with me in my private salon? Holy crap, you're not even a good honeybot. You suck. You're funny, Lars. Ah, oh, shit. That's... that's humor. Okay. Hold up. We gotta... get a little bit serious right now. We've got... we've got... a threat. Looming. I thought we would find tall grass here, maybe a little bit right there, but not as much as I'd hoped, for sure. Well, now you wish you had the critical. Are you stuck? Oh, goodness, get out of there, girl. Run. Run like crazy. Oh, tramplers, run from tramplers. Doesn't seem like a great idea. This is what they're made for. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, get that far. just won't stay near me, so I can't. I just can't get these stealth shots. They're scanning things. for me. That's a big old miss. Here's. Losing the tags is really a frustrating thing, but nothing I can really do about it, except be frustrated.
God damn it! Crapped it. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Give him the tall stuff. God damn. Hey, come here. Are you serious, though? It was specifically supposed to call one. Pressed it to dodge, but it was not good enough. Man, oh man. Whew. All right. Um, less than five minutes on the timer. I'm going to be back at a campfire, I'm pretty sure. I think. I think we got to call this an app. I'm. I'm not trying to manual save right now. I'm not. I, I just wanted to crouch because there's two giant enemies over there. That's an issue, for sure. I, I don't think. I don't think the crouch and the manual save should be the same button. But regardless of that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Failure, and I will see you soon. <laughs>